Well, I got company coming to my base camp this weekend. Our local scout troop is coming out. And we're going to do a survival, a wilderness survival weekend. And um, so I figured since I got company coming, I really ought to dig me a, a, a privy. So uh, that's the plan today. Got some back, some uh, <laughs> backhoe. Got a, uh, got some post hole diggers. We're going to dig us a hole. And we're going we're gonna, to uh, set up a little hunting blind over it, give everybody a little privacy. Doug. Now, unless you pretty good aim, um, you're going to miss that. So what we're going to do is we're going to widen that thing out and then bulb it out at the bottom. Give us a little more room so we won't have to dig one anytime soon. All right, here we are. We've got this thing dug out pretty well. I don't have a light on me except for what's on my glasses here. But anyway, if you can see down in there, we got it bulbed out pretty good. And uh, we're gonna put a, uh, put this tarp, I mean this uh, hunting blind right here on top of it. And uh, I'll fix it up inside once I get the tarp up. All right, so we got the we got the hunting blind up over the uh, privy there. So we're gonna stake this sucker off, and uh, that way, if you're out here doing your business, <laughs> and a good wind comes up, you're not standing there with your caught with your pants down. So we're gonna get this drove in just a little bit to hold it down on all four corners. And then I'll show you what's inside. We've got it set up. And um, I'm squatting right over our hole. And actually, you know, you'll see a lot of things on the internet where people build elaborate seats for outdoor toilets and privies. And uh, nature built us so that we could, if we're squatting in this position right here, if we're squatting, our plumbing <laughs> is going straight down. And that's the best way to, uh, position yourself to do your business. We could have done a, uh, a latrine with a trench and just cover it back in each time, but I wanted to do it this way. Um, the first time I saw this done here in the States was was uh, by Mark Warren up at his school, Medicine Bow in Dahlonega. And um, he had a big hole in the ground, something to cover it when uh, it was not in use to keep uh, animals and that kind of thing from falling in. So let me show you what we're going to do here. So when we are done doing our business, we'll take this stick that I've got that I cut, just an old cedar stick, and uh, once you're done, you scrape some of this dirt off into the hole to cover yourself up, okay? When you're completely done, you take this pot, this bucket right here, put it on top of the hole, keeps rodents and that kind of thing out, put your rock on top of it, and uh, it's ready for the next use. Now, over here, let me show you this. We've got us a Folgers coffee can, and we've got us some uh, TP in here. Keeps it dry, keeps it away from moisture. Of course, this this uh, hunting blind will keep most of it out, but this right here, use your toilet paper, do your business, finish up the paperwork, put it back in, reach over here. Now this is five star right here, five star. We got us. See if you can see that. Yeah, right here. You can see it maybe but anyway just some hand sanitizer to keep things clean around camp and we just throw that back up here in the blind and we're ready to yeah. go got the sounds of nature got us a little vent hole here got another vent hole here if you're sitting here uh, got a little cross breeze going of course the door will open up all the way um, if you want real privacy you'll have to close that up um, so anyway all right so that's it guys a little privy for base camp. Hope you guys are having a good day and uh, get out in the woods sometime soon. And you guys take care. I'll catch you on the next one. Remember to keep doing the stuff self-reliance.